Air tools use compressed air to do a number of tasks. Air can come out of a pneumatic tool with a lot of force and that can cause damage and injury. So before using an air tool, it's important to check all of its connections are secure and the hoses are in good condition and not leaking. It must be lubricated before it's used. This may be done automatically by an inline oil mister that puts a mist of oil in the air supply. Or it may need some squirts of light oil into the air inlet fitting. This model also removes moisture from the air before it's fed to the tools. This is the simplest air tool. It's a blowgun or air duster. It's really just compressed air by itself, controlled by a lever or valve. It's used to blast debris and dirt out of confined spaces. That can be dangerous, so eye protection must be worn whenever it's used. Noise levels are usually high, so ear protection should also be worn. It's also dangerous to use it to clean yourself down. Its blast should always be directed away from the user and anyone else working nearby. This is an air chisel. It's useful for driving and cutting. The extra force that's generated by the compressed air makes it more efficient than a hand chisel and hammer. Just as there are many chisels, there are many bits that fit into the air chisel, depending on the job at hand. This is an air drill. It has some important advantages over the more common electric power drill. With the right attachment, it can drill holes, grind, polish and clean parts. Unlike the electric drill, it doesn't run the risk of producing sparks, which is important around flammable liquids or petrol tanks. An air drill doesn't trail a live electric cable behind it, which could be cut and cause shock and burns. And an air drill also doesn't get hot with heavy use. The most common pneumatic tool in an automotive workshop is the air impact wrench. It's sometimes called a rattle gun. It's easy to hear why. Taking the wheels off a car to replace the tyres is a typical application for this air tool. It often needs a lot of torque to twist the nuts free. The rattle gun can be set to spin in either direction and this valve controls how much torque it applies. It should never be used for finely tightening wheel nuts. There's a real danger of doing them up much too tight. That could cause the bolts to fail and the wheel shear off the vehicle while it's moving. Another rule with the air impact wrench is to use only these specially hardened impact sockets, extensions and joints. The sockets are special six-point types and these flats can stand the sudden force that the rattle gun provides. This is an air ratchet. It uses the force of compressed air to turn a ratchet drive. It's used on smaller nuts and bolts. Once the nut is loosened, the air ratchet spins it off in a fraction of the time it would take by hand. Craftsman pneumatic cutoff tools primarily used for automotive jobs, such as cutting off mufflers, hose clamps, bolts, and sheet metal. If you have seen one of these before, you may notice that it's about one fifth the size of an electric cutoff tool. Plus, you can't use an electric motor near liquid or flammable material, so this is a good option that can be used just about anywhere. The ergonomic double injected grip adds comfort while the safety lock off lever prevents accidental startups. It's powered by a one half horsepower motor that reaches 20,000 RPM free speed for quick and easy cutting. Another thing that makes cutting easy is the 2 and 7 8 inch wheel that comes standard for maximum cutting depth. The clear polycarbonate wheel guard is the feature that really makes cutting easy. A lot of cutoff tools don't have this. If it weren't clear, you might put yourself at risk for injury trying to see exactly where you're cutting. 
With this clear wheel guard, you're protected and can see what you're doing. Air tools like this one should be oiled regularly, so remember to pick up some air tool oil as well. The Craftsman Pneumatic Cutoff Tool with a clear polycarbonate shield for safe, accurate cutting. The Craftsman Quarter Inch Right Angle Die Grinder can be used in all sorts of things from die and mold maintenance to heavy metal fabrication. Typically, this is used for metal removal and surface prep for painting. This is the tool you want to use with an air compressor to deburr metal or remove paint. The ergonomic grip provides comfort while getting the job done. Part of the grip is the safety lock-off lever which prevents the grinder from starting accidentally. The red part of this tool is a 360 degree rotational exhaust so the user can keep dust and small debris from flying around. You may notice some rattling if this thing shakes. Don't think it's broken. It's not. The rattling you hear is from small ceramic balls that act as sound diffusers to reduce noise. It runs at 20,000 RPM free speed with a 5 to 4 gear reduction in the head for greater stall torque and plenty of power. Make sure you have the proper air compressor for this tool. It's specified right on the box. Also, there are three additional things you should consider buying when purchasing this tool. The roll lock sanding disc assortment, the three-piece carbide burst set, and the five-piece grinding stone set. And just like with all our air tools, you'll want to buy some oil and lubricate it every time you use it. The Craftsman quarter-inch right angle die grinder, used for mold and die maintenance and heavy metal fabrication. The Craftsman Dual Action Sander is a good addition to any existing air compressor tool set. Finished sanders like this one are used to improve the quality and finish of surfaces to get them ready for painting. There's a small counterweight that oscillates in a smooth 3 16 motion to produce a beautiful, swirl-free finish. That's why it's called Dual Action. This model has a built-in regulator that allows you to match the tool speed to the job and material you're working with without walking back to the compressor to adjust. A 6-inch pad with flexible edges makes this sander easy to work with and keeps the surface from getting marred. There is a 10,000 RPM no load speed and a 3 16 inch orbital stroke for that clean finish. The ergonomic grip absorbs vibration so you can work comfortably until the job's done. Since this is a tool that is not electric, that means you can push this tool as hard as you want without having to worry about burning up the motor. The pad will work with any sanding paper that is PSA backed, so consider buying some of those as well. Also, make sure you have a compressor rated for 4 CFM air consumption or more. The Craftsman Dual Action Sander, a tough tool that produces a swirl-free finish.